This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, all three indices gave up early gains on Friday and posted their third straight weekly loss. For the week, the Dow and the S&P 500 fell 3%, while the tech-heavy Nasdaq fell 4.2%. The markets fell in the face of good news, with the U.S. economy adding 315,000 jobs in August slightly below expectations of 318,000 and a deceleration from July's growth of 526,000 payrolls. In addition, the June and July jobs results were actually revised down by a total of 107,000 jobs. Now, the increase in wages in August was only 5.2% year over year, below expectations of 5.3%. All good news for inflation. Slower wage gains mean that companies have less incentive to raise prices so consumer inflation could keep slowing down. Plus, fewer people in the workforce means less demand for goods and services. But the market wasn't impressed. And while the jobs report makes an acceleration in inflation less likely, Wall Street appears to be taking a wait and see attitude until the release of the consumer price index on September 13th. Now, all markets are auctions with a buyer, a bull, and a seller, a bear, for every transaction. The bulls and the bears fall into one of two camps, the bulls are in the camp of don't believe the Fed, while the bears fall into the camp of don't fight the Fed, especially when the Fed is fighting inflation. Now, the Fed has become very hawkish of late, even in the face of ample evidence on the ground that inflation is decelerating. According to Wharton professor Jeremy Siegel, 26 of the 27 inflation indicators came in below expectations over the last 30 days. Now, keep in mind, this is the same Federal Reserve that a year ago, today, told us inflation was only transitory. And Chairman Jerome Powell was telling us that he wasn't even thinking about, even thinking about raising rates. Wow, what a difference a year makes. A reminder to us all that the Federal Reserve is data dependent and they can and will change their opinion accordingly. So which camp has it right? Well, seasonality suggests it's the bulls, especially since we're in the midterm year of the presidential cycle. Historically, the first nine months of a midterm year, the markets are volatile, and usually negative until the fourth quarter. From the start of the fourth quarter in the midterm year through the end of the first half of year three of the presidential cycle, the S&P is up amazing 91% of the time. That's 21 out of the last 23 cycles with an average return of over 16%. Now, 16 of those 23 cycles saw double digit positive returns. And the last time this period had a negative return was way back in 1938, even before I was born. So in the words of Mark Twain, history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. Let's hope this market is singing his tune. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 pl a N N Y C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management, wishing you all a happy Labor Day.